Hi everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today I'm going to show you how to skin all of the different pieces or areas of a game so that you never have to look at one of these nasty gray boxes or empty boxes again. So there's four different places, well technically five, that you may see uh, this empty spot. There's a box shot, there's a banner, an icon, a, another icon, and a recently played. Now I know these have official Steam names, but I'm just, I'm making the names up as I go. So you'll also see that there's one here as well. So you've got five places to change them. You're gonna need three graphics, a box, an icon, and a banner. Uh, the rest of them you can tailor as you see fit, but I'm gonna show you how to use uh, those three to fit all five of these locations. So the first thing we're gonna do is handle the banner. You're gonna right click up here, set a custom background, and I just happen to have background. I have everything already downloaded. You'll have to go get your own artwork, of course. I've got a banner. Great. Right click, set a custom logo. All right, so now I've got a little ship for that. That looks great. I'm also gonna use that same ship to set my icon here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go digging back through again. And we'll also use the icon for that. Great. And then we'll go to our recently played, I'm sorry, we'll go uh, install locally first. Right click, manage, set custom artwork, box, not icon, clear custom artwork. There you go, see, I did that on purpose so I could show you how to get rid of it, ha ha. It's called a bad click, there we go. Now I've got a nice box shot and finally, we're gonna go back to home and you'll only see this one after it's been recently played. I'm gonna right click that, same thing, set custom artwork, and I'm just gonna use my banner. Great, so I now have it all looking as close to a real game as I can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, you know what to do. As always, thanks so much for watching and take care.